Hey guys, Dan here from Paddle North. Today we are gonna talk about the difference between inflatable boards and solid boards. So we've identified five main categories that we feel are very important when considering the factors of which one might be right for you. The first is gonna be tracking, stability, speed, durability, and then lastly, of course, portability and storage. So within tracking, we do have boards that track extremely well, and as a company, that was a non-negotiable factor regardless of the type of board. Traditionally, a well-designed hardboard is gonna track a little bit better than inflatable, but with some clever engineering and differences in some nose shape and overall design of the board, we've actually gotten both boards to track relatively similarly, where you should expect about 15 to 25 strokes per side before the board is veering in one direction or the other on either the Portager or the Loon before you have to switch hands. Stability between the two boards can have a little bit of a difference, but they are relatively equal given that you're on a board that's designed to support the weight that you're putting on. In our looms, we have several different sizes, and the sizes are all corresponding to different weight capacities. If you're under that weight capacity, it should be a very stable board for you, and that also applies to taking a dog, taking a kid, grandkid, cooler, whatever's going on the board, you're gonna have to combine that weight and support all of it, so that's an important thing to keep in mind. With the Portager, the inflatable board, it's much more of a one-size-fits-all, and that's due to the fact that this board will support up to about 350 pounds, yet pack into a backpack for easy storage. So with the stability, as long as you are on a board designed to support the weight, there should also be a pretty equal comparison between the two. If you are planning to be paddling in really large waves or really heavy wind, the inflatable will be a little bit more susceptible to being blown around than a solid board would be, but that again is in a pretty extreme environment on calm water, both should be very equal. In the speed category, both boards are relatively similar. Traditionally, inflatables can be a little bit slower, but again, with some engineering, we've been able to counteract that gap quite a bit. But at the same time, you aren't gonna quite get the glide that you would on a solid board with the inflatable. So by choosing the solid board, you should expect to be anywhere from about five to 20% faster on the water with every paddle stroke. For our next category, we're gonna talk about durability. And there is a significant difference between the two in the durability category. Solid boards, while we do use bamboo as part of the construction, which does make them more durable than just a fiberglass based board, you're gonna to wanna to treat them a lot more carefully than you would on the inflatable. And should be treated like a high-end boat, where you would not run into the rocks, not drop it in the street, things along those lines. Treat it with a lot more respect. With a inflatable board, and with the Portager here in particular, we have even got videos of driving over them on concrete. So dragging them through the rocks, up the beach, you know, the unfortunate drop and impact on concrete is not gonna affect the board whatsoever. The only susceptibility that this material would have is putting it too close to a campfire and getting an ember or some other type of fire-based uh, damage, or being malicious and taking a knife to it. Outside of that, this should stand up to just about any natural surface out there in the world. Now the portability and storage category should be about as obvious a difference as there is within our video here. This board, our Portager Inflatable, is quite obviously going to be able to store down and pack in a much more compact size. We have a backpack that it comes with, it rolls right in, you can use it as luggage, take it on an airplane, throw it in a trunk, or even store it in a closet. Having said that, you can leave it inflated as long as you want, and because they are so rigid, you can store it over in the winter in the garage inflated. With a solid board, you are gonna need a relatively large vehicle, truck, or roof rack system on your vehicle to be able to transport it. And then of course, you're gonna need space, a garage, a basement space, that's gonna be at least as big as the length of the board and find a good way to store that board within that space. So while it's not tough for many to be able to store the solid boards for people in a condo or interested in doing a lot of traveling, the inflatable board is certainly the way to go. Well, that'll wrap up our video, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. There really isn't a wrong choice. Just think about what would work better for your situation. Both boards are high quality. The Loon in the solid bamboo composite, the Portager in the inflatable draft stitch PVC, both awesome options. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out by phone, email, or through our website. Have a great day and enjoy your adventure out on the water.